Right? Drive up it, jump off of it. <laughs>Hey guys, and welcome back to Terror Attack with me, Tenzin. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So, uh, as you guys can see already, there is a brand new harvester in the game. <laughs> uh, it's, I guess, the first attempt to the new update um, with the ability for the resource blocks and chunks. So, we're going to try it out. Uh, it's a little, I guess, bulky. <laughs> okay, let's see what the, we're going to get here out of here this uh, GeoCorp Quest 2. But yeah, it's a little bit bulky, um, and we'll go over it in just a second. Oh, we're stuck. That's nice. But I've always wanted to be. Uh, Alright, resources. Now, technically that would be bad. You know, it's not, you know, it's not the greatest thing in the world. But, um, the thing is, is that we're kind of looking for resources. We need a lot of resources. Uh, what, we're, <laughs> what we're trying to accomplish in the game is requiring quite a bit from us. Um, especially, like now, it's not even the... It's not the rare uh, resources that we need. We need, like, the most common ones. Because the common ones actually are harder to find. Or, well, not harder to find, but harder, harder to harvest in large numbers, I guess you'd say. Um, so, like, the plumbite, the tatnite, um, wood, sap... Uh, and the uh, Igniite, I think that's the yellow one, right? That's Igniite, uh, Ignite, come on, no, the Luxite, sorry, <laughs> the Luxite, or, um, yeah, because we're running, we're super low on those, and we don't have any of them refined, but what I want to show you guys is this new tech, um, obviously, we just have a little bit of problem in the ground here, but that's because we only have a single row of tank treads. We might have to double up on that, but uh, I'll show you really quickly here. So we have, um, you know, our receiver pads onto our conveyor belt, which runs all the way up to the top there, which is connected to a bunch of, yeah, let's zoom in a little bit more, um, a bunch of filters. There's two filters for every lots of silo. And there's five lots of silos on here. Um, so you got uh, plumbite, tetanite, luxite, wood, and then sap. And then just uh, filter everything extra that we have, right? Uh, eventually we'll have to filter that out, which is, you know, fine with us because it's all the specialties, right? But all these lots of silos are connected to a refinery, which is then connected to a Hawkeye uh, fabricator. And the reason why I went with Hawkeye, like I, we could have went with GSO and we could have went with Venture, but Venture's nine for the resource blocks. Um... Uh, Geocorp or GSO is 24, Hawkeye is 64, and then Geocorp is 120. So uh, Hawkeye kind of sits like right in that happy medium where 64 uh, resources is really good when you offload them and even when you scrap them because it doesn't uh, take up more than just one lots of silo, right? So, and then when we do get fill up a lots of silo, we know that it's time to uh craft them right so i did put an anchor bit on here so we can anchor and then we can i don't know where all those are going but it doesn't really matter anyways they'll just be sitting there because <laughs> i think as soon as we do they disappear as soon as we unanchor no okay so they're just gonna sit there but yeah we do have uh i don't know if you guys saw the, the solar panels pop up there but we have a ton of those um and yeah as soon as i see the I guess the silo's full, then we'll uh, worry about... Wow, this is really slow, this is really slow turner. <laughs> we'll worry about uh, um, fabricating all the blocks. Or I guess, yeah, technically that's what it's meant to be, like fabricate the block as we fill up. Uh, did they do something with the tanks treads? Like, wow. I think it might just mean, ugh might be that we just need a couple extra ones underneath um, to help us move around here. But uh, yeah, I'll actually lift us up. So as you guys can see, we have you know the tank treads down the sides. Um, it'll be kind of hard to actually double up. Maybe not, because um, I'll just move these batteries to the middle. 
Uh, there we go. <laughs> but yeah, we have uh, six Jill Corp batteries, not much. We're using the Jill Corp uh, shield uh, repair bubbles. And we're using the Hawkeye shield bubbles. Now it looks like the Hawkeye shield bubbles are about the same size as the Geocorp repair bubble. So just keep that in mind if you guys are building. Um, Geocorp with Hawkeye is better than Hawkeye with Hawkeye. Uh, for the most part. I guess if you... well, Yeah, usually you want your repair bubble the same size as your, your shield bubble. Hey guys, so I just set up. We're uh, <laughs> just getting everything going here. Um... Let's get going here. So yeah, I waited until we had three of them that looked like they were pretty much full. Um, I could be off. We could be really off. And then unfortunately, then we'd be, you know, <laughs> kind of behind the schedule. Or I guess not schedule, but we'd lose a lot of resources if we don't have 64 of any of these, right? Um, I also, I forgot to tell you guys. Uh, you know how I told you in the last episode, I think it was... Um, to go when you go and mine like a, an actual mine to use the auto miners well i use 25 auto miners now when i go and mine a mine and it's actually faster than what um one refinery and one fabricator can handle so i have to actually set up two refineries and two fabricators and um usually when that happens the second fabricator and refinery uh take up like the last couple bits and then it's kind of you know hit and miss but it helps right um but what i was what the point is is that if uh, you were to go to like about 30 auto miners in one spot maybe even 35 you would be able to set up two refineries two fabricators uh, and probably mine with not a problem i'd like to try it now but uh we just don't have the i don't have the auto miners on us um we only have 25 of course so so yeah as you guys can see that was actually really close um but we got uh, 64 uh, Fibron, uh, 64 Luxite, and 64 uh, Tetanite. Also, uh, while I was driving around here, I was thinking, you know what? This this type of vehicle that we're using right here um, is too big. It's it's just, it is what it is. Um, maybe if we change the wheels. I did put a second set of uh, um, tank treads. Hawkeye tank treads on the bottom, but uh, I don't, oops, just on, <laughs> but they just don't, it doesn't seem to be, like, it's helping carry, but it's not helping turn or anything like that. Now, we are very narrow, but I'm just thinking, of, I was thinking to myself, like, why make this so big um, and gather, like, three or four different materials at a time when we could just make a vehicle that, like, literally, if you just cut this, uh... So let's say from this fabricator across and just made that the vehicle, uh, you'd have to make it like a little nicer and stuff like that. But uh, if it only collected one to two materials, you could actually fly through here, um, destroying and finding just those materials. Like Plumbite, haven't found much of it yet. That is going to be a big thing. And I think Plumbite is more, uh, there's more Plumbite in, in the mountains than there are in the forest or there is in the forest. And this isn't going in the mountains. There's no way that it's gonna fit. this uh, this tech is gonna work in the mountains. But a smaller tech, yeah, it'll it, they'll it'll work in the mountains. It'll climb like a sheep or a goat. <laughs> so uh, just something to keep in mind if you guys are gonna make one. Um, size does matter with these, especially like with this area, right? Uh, we're gonna have to navigate this kind of carefully. Hey guys, so I just finished unloading the truck. Uh, instead of Using the fabricators, I just unloaded the truck. I just, you know, turned the conveyor belt around backwards and put the dropper on the end. Um, I think, yeah, th I, this is overkill. There's no reason to have a vehicle this big for just those five other resources. Um, I guess they're now the rare resource or the, yeah, I guess, uh, anyways. Um, it's just, there's no point in having it this big. So we're going to have to remake this, like I said. Uh, we'll figure it out. But I also wanted to say, because I know there's, Probably a couple of you guys watching that are saying, well, I'll just scrap everything, right? And that's true. Um, we can make a lot of, like, some of these lower class um, resources that we need. You can get them pretty easy from just scrapping down, you know, stuff that you don't even use now. Like the stud lasers, you get three plumbite ore and two luxian ore plus a carbius brick. Um, you know, all the stuff that you really don't need, like, you know, two tatnite 
plus a plumbite. So how many of these, you know, the ZK47s do we have? Probably more than <laughs> more than I want to look at, but yeah, 234 of them. So uh, 234, let's just say there's 200 of them. So how many we would get? Uh, 600 plumbite ore and 400 tetanite. <laughs> so it, it, it's, it's a lot, but at the same time, we are using a lot. So it, it evens itself out. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to keep saying that it'll just be better if it's going the opposite way and I can't turn it around. If we just make a vehicle that's specifically made to not like, I'm not saying just go and get one resource. Um, you'll be able to change it. Like it'll be, you put the filter, right? So you just change it to whatever resource you need at that time. Then just rip around the world, grab it. Even if we have to fly or hover, um, it doesn't really matter either or we'll, we'll figure it out. But, uh, so you, it's quicker to get. And then, uh, you know, obviously this is nice to have this kind of storage, but what you really want is this kind of storage, right? You want these, like we have plumbite or yeah, plumbite and all that in storage, but I want more, right? You want to be able to have a lot of this just kicking around. Um, and I think, you know, th that's all from the quests. Now, I, I like I said, uh, I think it was during a live stream not too long ago. Anyways, I was talking about actually restarting. I'm not going to restart, but I was just saying it'd be, it'd be very interesting to see how everything has changed so far. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, like what has actually happened, right? So, or not ha happened. We already know what's happened. Oops, no, don't take a picture of it. <laughs> um, but like how fast you could make it all the way back up here, right? To this level. Uh, and how easy it would be, if it'd be easy at all. So we're going to go over here. Like I said, we're going to uh, rip around in our little speedster here. Uh, we'll just get rid of that. So far, uh, the techs are spawning in, but they're not spawning in close to us. So I haven't had to worry too much which is super nice and great. Um, but yeah, we're going to try some of these. I have, like I said, I have not gotten a quest or the quest reward for completing any of these. I've done some of the jumps and, you know, uh, like in yesterday's episode, you guys can see I landed, um, but it didn't give us the quest or the reward for it. <laughs> All right. Eventually we'll get there. All right, I'm guessing it's just okay. Well, the... it was probably probably supposed to do that, but <laughs> probably not like that. All right, let's go like this. Um, the reason I flipped that around is because he nose dived right off the bat. Okay, may not even need this. Okay. Nose dive again. Hmm. <clears throat> I didn't have this kind of problem just a second ago. Let's see. Uh, the wings might be causing it. Kind of hoping they're not, though. You know what? I wonder if we put like a middle wing here. We would just kind of glide a little bit easier. Because, yeah, uh, I did put tail wings on here just so that we kind of had that ability to glide through the air as we uh, go over these jumps. Oh. I'm pretty sure we nailed it. <laughs> like, I know we glided over it, but... Let's see. <laughs> All right, let's try this one more time. If this one doesn't work, then we'll go somewhere else. Uh, I did remove two of the wings too, the tail wings. We got a sound effect. Right, like uh, like we had completed the mission, and nothing. All right, <laughs> so 
See, this is why I think they've, uh... I, I know that some of them work, or I've heard that some of them work, so I can't say I know they work. But, uh... Yeah, I'm just... Alright. Drive up it, jump off of it. <laughs> Yeah. Well, there's some parts to the vehicle, but... Jump off the ramp. There was fireworks and everything, you guys. See, so yeah, I don't think they're working at the moment. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. So yeah, at the moment, I don't think it's actually working. Uh, they're, still, they're still trying to work the bugs out. Unfortunately, we just wasted some time on it, but... <laughs> oh, I didn't notice that... Oh, somebody's gotten close to the base on both sides. <laughs> uh, they should have known better. Anyways, <laughs> that's hilarious. That's going to do it for today's episode, you guys. So if you like the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.